I am once again in downtown Fullerton and I am joined by Chris. Chris. All right, and a general question just to get us started off an easy question. How did you hear about this? Um, that guy hiding over there. That Some guy of hiding my over best there. Best friends and he is like addicted to this. See, he's like climbing up the bushes over there. Yeah, you can see him kind of wandering around in the uh, tall grass, so to yeah. speak. I'm not sure if you can see him in the camera, but uh, whatever. Behind. Anyway, anyway, so um yeah, what are your just general thoughts about this game so far? You know, all the stuff that's been going on last you know, month. It's been getting a lot of people out and not into their houses. I think that's awesome. It's good. That, and I mean, like, we're talking here. It's mm -hmm. like, I probably would have never spoken to you intentionally. Yeah. Like, I probably would have sat on a bench and done like this when you walked by. But instead, <laughs> we stood here and we talked. So, you know, it's... Do I really look that threatening? No, but I do. So I try not to scare people. Uh. Well, must be the beard. Yeah. Actually, your beard and my beard are kind of like the polar opposites. Yeah, you know, you put them together, we'd have like a full-on Viking thing going. I know, dude, that'd be awesome. And I have something in my eyes, so that's why my eyes twitching. <laughs> anyway, so uh, down to the nitty gritty. So uh, this past um, this past couple weeks have been really rough for Pokemon Go and Niantic and stuff like that. You know, with the uh, with the drop of the um, the tracking system entirely because of the three-step glitch and uh, having some real problems with my eye right now, but. Um, and uh, the um, the closing down of places like uh, what's it called, uh, Pokevision and um, stuff like that. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I didn't get into it until after all of that stuff had happened. Oh, so how long have you been playing? So I'm on day twelve. Day twelve, and you're already level twenty. Yeah, that's actually very impressive. Well, I walk five miles a day, and hatching eggs is just jumping up my experience like left and right. That is a good point. So. All right, so uh, getting on to the actual, like, uh, what have, what's updated here. Apparently, this past update, which uh, came out today, today's the 8th, right? Yeah. Yeah, it came out actually today. Um, it did several things, including um, added a dialogue to remind trainers that they should not play while traveling above a certain speed. Trainers must confirm they are not driving in order to continue uh, playing. You know, they, they're, there's, like, three or four fail-safes now to prevent people from being stupid, and yet... You know, what are your thoughts about like, like how many fail saves must there be, or there's are there, are people just going to continue to be stupid no matter what? Oh, people are going to be stupid, but I mean, what are you going to do when you got somebody in the back seat of a car? You put a speed limit on them, they're not doing anything wrong. The driver might be, but the passenger isn't. Yeah. So I mean, they're they're always going to have stuff like this. I just don't think these fail saves are really going to do what they're trying to get them to do. So what would you suggest? Like, what's what's an idea that you would come up with? I don't know how to solve that one. Like that, at least for like the driving thing, I don't even know where you would go with that other than just completely putting it on somebody else's responsibility, have a disclaimer, so when they get in a car wreck or something like that, you're not liable for it. Uh, they also fixed a bug that prevented nice, great, and excellent Pokeball throws from awarding the appropriate experience bonuses. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. You're not a big fan of like, uh, like you hit it in the mark and you get it more experience? No, I'm not a fan of them messing with it. Did they stop it or don't? No? Well, they fixed a bug that prevented it. Oh, well, no, I'm all for that then. Because that's how you get the experience points. That's how you get as quick as I did. Yeah. Um, and let's see, just one more. Let's see here. Um, uh, resolved issues with battery saver mode and re-enabled this feature. So, like, do you use battery saver mode? Like, the low well, power? I haven't been because it's been just completely freezing up the app and I have to restart it every time I do it. But hmm. I found out about this update as soon as we started talking, so i got to update it. Mm -hmm. So that'll um, save my battery because I usually, when I go on my walks in the morning, my battery is dead about halfway through it. Um, now, two more things. They also enabled the ability for trainers to change their nickname one time, and they also, uh, they're also they testing a variation of the nearby Pokemon feature with a subset of users. During this period, the uh, people may see some variation in the nearby Pokemon UI. So have you checked out the, um, have you checked out the, uh, the nearby thing tonight? I haven't tonight? messed with it yet. Because we've been sitting over here and everybody's been popping lures, so I haven't had to do anything uh, intelligent at all. Well, like, it looks like uh, they have them now hiding in yeah. tall grass and stuff, which is pretty interesting. It's, it's staying true to the Pokemon, you know, yeah. thing instead of, like, you know, the one to three steps. Now they're hiding in tall... Actually, if you look, they're, um... It, it looks like, you know, they're they're popping out of the tall grass or they're hiding behind it. Yeah. So... I'll have to mess with that one. Yeah, so what are your thoughts about that, other than just, you know... It's got to be better than the footsteps. Oh, yes. Those footsteps made no sense. There was no rationality to them at all. Yeah. But at least this, it looks like there's some sort of logic to it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if there's, like, one final question. If there's anything on your mind, like, you know, any tips, tricks that you that you think, you know, 
might help other trainers if there's anything that you have to ask other trainers because um, this is going up on YouTube tomorrow so you can like you know check out check the comments section you know all that stuff I have a bunch of links in the underbar and everything if there's anything you want to talk to you know yell at nine tick about you know personally if there's anything on your mind about this game just let it out the only thing I think is we need to start putting all the poker stops at all the breweries that way I can just sit there and drink a beer while I'm playing that is a very good idea <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time. Once again, you are? Chris. All right. Awesome. Once again, special shout out to Chris. Thank you for letting me interview you. That was fun. Now, as for me, a lot has happened since last Thursday, and I mean a lot. Like, I, I don't even remember everything that has happened. It's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's been four days, so a lot of stuff can happen in four days, especially in Pokemon or in any video game you know, really. But uh, anyway, so on Saturday I met up with my meetup group, uh, the SoCal meetup group or whatever it's called. The link is in the underbar to that specific group's page on meetup.com. We went to some random park out in Buena Park and it was a Charmander nest and it caught, a, caught quite a bit of Charmanders with, uh, with uh, several people of that group and, and whatnot. And then from there, I got invited to participate in another meetups meetup out in the Pike in Long Beach, and there was, I kid you not, over 5,000 people there. And just to let you know, this is where I went. Yes, that is the Pike and the Boardwalk, or whatever the heck it's called. It's on the other side of that, of that straight, you know, from the uh, Queen Mary out in Long Beach. And oh my god, the amount of Pokemon there is crazy, but unfortunately, like... Because of the parking, or lack thereof, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to find actually find a spot. Now, just to let you know, if you do end up going down there, stock up on Pokeballs. Like, whether you have to go to downtown Fullerton, or just walk around the general area, because, as you can see, that area over by the gym, the, what, it's a, um, the farthest gym, like the one kind of in the center, way in the back, all those stops around that lighthouse area, don't draw Pokeballs for crap. So be heavy on your balls. Because the amount of Pokemon over there is truly crazy. There's like a bunch of Magikarp. I got a Seal. I got a Magnemite. I got a Kingler. I evolved my, uh, my Nidto whatever into a Nidto King. Um, there is a... Uh, oh yeah, I also hatched a Grimer, which... Um, yeah, it, it, it was a Phantom Grimer, so I renamed it Phantom. I also evolved my uh, Slowpoke into a Slowbro. I evolved my Execute into an Executor. I was this, but now I'm this. Oh, and I also evolved my Ghastly into a Haunter. I got this badge. And while fighting in a gym, I was fighting my 1337 Vaporeon against another 1337 Vaporeon, but mine was Leader. So that's all I have for you today. So until Thursday, or until you see me tomorrow or later on today with my history show, that's about it. Don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, especially if you're Pokemon going, and rate five thumbs and subscribe. Toodles! Oh, also check the underbar for any links you may be interested in.